previously in Fenero. I want to share about the anointing within and the anointing without. And when I say that it's the anointing from without, I don't necessarily mean that it dwells from without. I only mean it functions from without, although it's from within. But its purpose and function is for things without. When I talk about the anointing within, its purpose and function is within for the things that concern the inward man of the heart. All of you believe that you are two beings. You have that outward being which they call the human being, which God molded out of the dust and breathed into it the breath of life. And then you have that inner man. That man is in the image and likeness of God, the Spirit. And that is a man that worships, prays to God, connects to God. That man has an anointing that he can function under, like the man without has a certain anointing he was created to function with. Luke chapter 4 verses 18, Jesus in his own words says that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Now I'm talking about the anointing from without. And he, the Bible says, has anointed me, one, to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of the sight to the blind, which is a miraculous, and to set at liberty them that are bruised, which is the delivering ministry. All of that is a work of the anointing upon the Son of God. And its function is for men. That is the anointing that will change the people that are outside you. That anointing was not designed to transform you. That anointing is not even responsible for healing you as an individual because it's from within to minister without you. When a man separates himself for hours to seek God, he can reveal to that man what he is going to do or he can teach that man how to do certain things in the spirit. That is thrownness, determining the mode of action because you hold the end in sight. And then we have what we call the anointing within. That which was given to you to function within you and it's for your benefit. Now, the Bible says in 1 John 2, 27, it says, but the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you. And you need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teaches you of all things and is truth and is no lie, even as it has taught you, you shall abide in him. Now that anointing which abides in you, that one is primarily to teach you. That kind of wisdom from what the Holy Spirit will teach you will also save you. It actually saves you most. The Bible tells us in Proverbs, by wise counsel, thou shalt make thy war. Now, who is the principal counselor? The Holy Spirit. He will teach you to fight certain things that your prophet might not be able to fight for you. You must be able to pray yourself out of something. Come on, touch somebody with your elbow and tell them what you will it day. I'm still talking about that teaching of within. That's the anointing that will tame you to self-control. That's the anointing that will restrain and arrest your character towards the things of God. That is the anointing that deals mostly with the human heart to convict it of things. Because that thing which functions without does not necessarily need to get a man wrong for it to function. Let me tell you, when somebody is a prophet, even if they don't pray, they see. When a man is gifted by something, they don't need to do so much. Whatever exercise comes with that is simply to improve what God already gave them. Some of you, when you were younger, you wanted to be doctors. And as you grew up in school, they started to show you that if somebody needed to be a doctor, they needed to know physics, chemistry. And so even though you wanted to be a doctor, biology refused. History, 98. Christian education, 100. So the only chance you have is receiving a healing anointing. So where the doctors put a knife to cut for you, just say, Makondi Gazogali Tapaka, heal! <laughs> you see what I'm saying? There are things only God can change in your heart because he has revealed certain things to you personally. And if you don't understand that anointing, you will never understand the deeper realms of authority. There are things you can never command, especially power with men. As you grow this thing without, allow the Spirit of God, that anointing within, to teach you certain things. 
that should save you one day and teach you to fight your inner battles. Those which you might never carry language for without. Because if you don't understand how that inner man teaches, you'll never know the power of creating from the inner realms. As this person within teaches you, there's a beauty that comes and happens even on your ministry towards men. Because when this one inside meets that which ministers to men, that's the thing that actually separates your voice from the noises. That's what we call distinctive marks. One man can know the Psalm 23. Another man can know the shepherd. This second one is more elevating. It's more effectual than the first one. And that is why when we talk about time of solitude, personal space with God, this is you allowing God to teach you. Build a life of personal communion where even though you're not going to minister to men, you know that you need your space to grow as a minister. This is the thing that teaches you within. Because without that thing, your character will conflict with the anointing operating without you. You'll function in gifts. The wisdom of God in you cannot reconcile. But as you continue to learn from within, every year there will be a shine of the wisdom of God on your life to know what to do, when to do it, and how to do it whenever God requires. That thing balances you. That anointing looks so wonderful on a believer. That inner man carries the revelation of things to come. Things men have never heard. Things men have never said. Things that have never sat in the hearts of men. That anointing carries those realities. You just need to know how to position yourself. Still yourself and hear the voice of God and keep a constant life of learning from that individual. The wisdom to function outside you is different from the wisdom that functions within you. And you need both to balance. If you understand this mystery, you'll be amazed at how the spirit of revelation will work through you. Even the way you respond to that teacher within shows whether you're serious or not. Treat him with so much respect. When he comes through a vision or a dream at night, wake up and write it and then go back to sleep. When you're in a car and you receive an instruction or a revelation, receive it, woman of God. Get a note on your phone and type it. Later on alone at night or in the morning, sit alone and ponder on that thing and tell him speak. You'll be amazed at the things he will speak. But this thing will balance you. It will give you such a boldness in the spirit. It will allow you to do things that people are not able to do. Normal people are not able to do. Because it's in, it's in there, it's taught. The spirit is learning. You command things like you are learned. You know that you know that you know that you know it's God. It's not otherwise. Eternal realities are so beautiful to behold it. Especially when you understand that they're not time bound. So it's fulfillment either. It's not only subject to the times of men. It's the appointed times of the Spirit. When you understand this, you'll know the difference between people who are living in the world to survive and men who are creating in the world. Because they've learned to command their days. They've learned to appoint their days. These are the people who really change the world. Earthly time is so limited. And it can be affected by the anointing that teaches. The world was created as an opportunity for man to dream and create when they connect to this realm. It doesn't matter how small it is, they can create space. It doesn't matter how short it is, they can lengthen it. They carry the ability by faith. For with this God, all things are possible. When you understand this thing, you live from within. You never live from without. Nothing outside scares you. Nothing outside shakes you. Strive to have both. The wisdom to grow the anointing upon you for signs, miracles, and wonders. But above all, the wisdom to hear God as He teaches you the things He must teach you, the things that are for you individually. You'll always be ahead of your peers. Join our online family, spread the love, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Fenero, make manifest.